exercise can do a body good. And one of our sponsors, Anytime Fitness, provides a powerful example of that. It's the story of two amazing young women who are each struggling with pain, but refuse to give up. When she was barely a year old, Ashton Parsons was diagnosed with cancer and given only a 10% chance of survival. Chemotherapy and more than a dozen surgeries saved her life. Then, as a teenager, Ashton was hit by another form of cancer. There was more chemotherapy, a hip replacement, and her entire pelvis had to be reconstructed. Ashton's life was saved, but her body was weakened and in chronic pain. Now I'm thinking that most people having gone through all of that would be down, they wouldn't necessarily be pushing themselves, but you did the total opposite. You actually found fitness. I didn't want to be seen as feeble and I didn't want to feel that way anymore. Ashton signed up to work with a trainer at her local gym. She wanted more than just exercise. She wanted to master a sport. She chose powerlifting. You're so tiny. What got you interested in powerlifting? It's empowering to me. It was also empowering to see other people lifting weights that they felt they couldn't. And it's amazing to see someone reach their goals. How does fitness and being active help you today? Do you feel better? I do. I feel a lot better. I'm able to do everyday things with a lot less pain than I used to. And it's just amazing that the difference that it's really made in my life. Bonnie Gullickson wasn't facing a life-threatening illness, but five years ago, poor health was overshadowing her life. I've struggled with my weight throughout my whole life, pretty much. Arthritis tends to run in my family. I feel as if I was getting the beginning stages of that. My joints hurt a lot, or I always had headaches. I felt so icky, no self-confidence at all. Bonnie's turnaround started with exercise videos at home. When did you decide to join the gym? About a year ago, actually. I had okay. a friend who asked me at work. She wanted to join the gym, get a little more fit. And I thought about it, and I was like, well, I could probably try it. Like many of us, Bonnie was intimidated by starting a new fitness routine. It is a mood booster. Yes. You feel good when you exercise. Yes, I do very much. You feel strong. You build your confidence with it. A year later, Bonnie's now one of those fit, energetic people encouraging others. I'm so much more positive with myself, with what I can do. I never thought I would be where I am now, ever, because I just didn't have the motivation, and I was like, I can't do what they do. Now I'm like, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm, <laughs> I have so much energy, I have to calm myself down. You know, I get so excited. Bonnie and Ashton have different stories, but the same advice to anyone looking to change their life through better fitness. You can't just automatically be fit. It takes time, it makes you feel better, and then you'll want to continue to do it. I would say to pick a starting point, Take all the baby steps in the world, but don't quit. You can't quit, you just have to keep going. You sure do. And you are the living proof. I gotta give you a hug. Wow. You're amazing.